my name is Liz. I'm here with Jefferson Patterson Park and Museum, and we are partnering with the Great Maryland Recipe Hunt to bring another video about food history. Uh, so I am here out in a cornfield today because we are talking about corn. Uh, it's an ingredient that everyone is super familiar with, uh, but you might not know that the history of corn is really ancient here in America. Corn was domesticated from the Teosinti grass about 9,000 years ago in Mexico. And then it spread throughout uh, South America and up through North America until it reached Maryland. Now, corn didn't actually become a major part of the diet here in the Chesapeake until about 800 years ago. So that's pretty recently in terms of archeology. span uh, And corn back then looked very different than our modern corn today. Um, as you can see, of course, it's colorful, but it's also much smaller and the kernels are really, really tiny. Uh, this is much more like the corn that the Native Americans would have been eating at that time period. Now, the Native Americans uncovered the process that you need to be able to actually digest corn. It's called nixtamalization. And basically, it's just breaking down the outer hull of the corn so that it is more digestible. Uh, and it creates what we know as hominy. Now, of course, when the colonists arrived in America, they got corn from the Native Americans and it became a very important part of the American diet as well. Uh, in fact, uh, in the late 1700s, wheat was one of America's major export crops. So that left corn for Americans to eat, uh, particularly laborers, uh, enslaved persons, and anyone who didn't have enough money to buy wheat. Now, here I have uh, the first cookbook published in America. Uh, it is American Cookery by Amelia Simmons, and we are going to whip up one of her cornmeal recipes here. So she says to scald one pint of milk and put to three pints of Indian meal and a half pint of flour. Bake before the fire. So it's not a lot of detail, uh, but this is making what is essentially an early cornbread. So I've got my cornmeal here in my bowl. I'm gonna add in some flour. And you don't really need to be too precious with these measurements. We're gonna combine that up and then I'll add in my milk. When it says scalded milk, it really just means milk that's been warmed. Now, if you want to try making this recipe yourself, uh, I definitely would add in some salt because uh, this is gonna be a little bland uh, and maybe some fat like uh, butter or some eggs. This is a very simple cornbread that would be very cheap and easy to make. It would be incredibly affordable. All right, so just mix it up until I've got a thick batter. And then I'm going to put this into my pie plate. And we'll smooth it out. Uh, now Amelia says to bake this in a fire, but I'm just gonna bake this off in an oven. Uh, and there you have a very simple, uh, very early cornbread. Now this isn't gonna taste much like the cornbread you expect, but it is uh, something fun to try up and make for something new. All right, thank you for watching. Be sure to check out the Great Maryland Recipe Hunt and submit your recipes. The link is in the description and uh, we'll see you next time. For anyone who needed to cook on a dime. All right, okay. Here with Jefferson Patterson Parking Museum. Oh, you Hi.